Hello, this is Cheshire West and Chester Council's News Desk, bringing you the latest stories from your council. Nominations are now open for the Cheshire West and Chester Council Sports Awards. These awards look to celebrate the very best of sporting talent and dedication across the borough. You can make a nomination by downloading a form at cheshirewestandchester.gov.uk forward slash sports awards. Alternatively, you can contact the sports development team on 01606 288 556 or email at sports at cheshirewestandchester.gov.uk. The public is being urged to get involved in shaping an exciting future for Chester with the aim of recreating it as a world-class city by 2027. A 12-week consultation has been launched on a substantial draft proposal called the One City Plan. The ambition is to create a city that stands apart from its neighbours by making the best of its unique assets. The draft plan is available online at chesterrenaissance.co.uk Local residents are being invited to grab a rug, a picnic basket full of food and good company and head down to Stannyfields Park for the annual Silver Band concert. This free event is organised by the Friends of Stannyfields Park and will include a programme of live music to suit all tastes. It will take place on Saturday the 9th of July from 6pm to 8pm. This summer, Chester City Centre is alive with colour. Trees and lampposts are wrapped with brightly striped material to enhance the environment through colour, pattern and movement and generate an atmosphere of excitement and celebration. Throughout the summer, people across the whole borough are being challenged to wrap a tree or multiple trees where they live, work, learn or play. You can get inspired by downloading the activity pack at talkingwestcheshire.org forward slash alive. Visitors to Verdin Park in Northwich on the 13th and 14th of August will be transported back to the Middle Ages to enjoy a spectacular medieval fair. With a living history camp, medieval stalls, combat demonstrations, falconry displays and a medieval costume parade, there's something for all the family to enjoy. If you buy tickets in advance, they cost £6.50 for adults and £2 for children. You can find out more about the event by calling 0845 241 7868. Staff from Chester's Grosvenor Museum are asking people from across the borough to come forward with personal objects they feel are precious to them. These will become part of a temporary exhibition titled Treasured Possessions, which opens in November. Museum staff would also like to hear about the story behind the object and why it's special. The exhibition will also showcase a number of objects and artworks from the museum collection that are not normally on display and will demonstrate how Cestrians have cherished their possessions throughout the city's history. Treasured possessions. These are objects which we all have and which, mean very, very dear, which are very, very dear to us. They don't have to be worth a fortune but to ourselves they are actually incalculable. I've brought along two treasured possessions which uh, I hold very, very dearly. The first one is from my nana and this one is a letter from Winston Churchill. My nana loved royalty and also Winston Churchill and each birthday she used to send a donation to him even though she was not a wealthy lady and he took the trouble to write a personal letter back to her. The value of this is incalculable as far as we're concerned and uh, I know my nana held it very dearly. The second one is from my other grandma. Um, this was my first money box and it was really, really special because the uh, money that they used to collect in it was no longer available today. It was silver sixpences, the very, very small ones. And they used to fill it up and I could not wait then to empty it out. That is super because what this exhibition is all about is possessions that you have which are cherished to yourselves. They don't have to be worth a fortune. They can be any item that you hold very, very dearly hence the term treasure possessions. So anything you have, bring along to the museum. We would love to exhibit them. If you are interested in being involved in the exhibition, please contact Learning Officer Fran Bray on francis.bray at cheshirewestandchester.gov.uk or ring 01244 402 019. 
For all the Council's news, as it happens, visit cheshirewestandchester.gov.uk and click on News. Alternatively, you can follow our news on Facebook and Twitter and see more videos about the Council and its services on Cheshire West TV and YouTube. <laughs>